Hi, we're going to see how you can create your own repository on a GitHub today. So repository is where you're going to be putting your project, quote unquote. So anything which you are going to be working on or you want to, you want to collaborate, you're going to create on your own. Uh, in most cases, someone would have already created the repository and then you're going to join that one. But um, let's start from a very simple one, which is by creating your, join, your own repository. And then we're going to see later how we can join the other project. So when you are redirecting from your email, especially uh, if you have it for the very first time, once you create your uh, GitHub account, then this would be the page you're going to be looking at. So even if it's not the case, then you can go to the, um, the top uh, right corner where you're going to see your icon. And then you're going to click on that and you're going to see your repositories. So in my case, I don't have any repository. Probably that's going to be the case on yours as well. So when that is the case, all you have to do would be just to create on this one. You're going to create on a new. Mind you, the, the, um, the owner over here is going to be, which is going to be shown your own. And then the repository name is going to be whatever the, the project that you're going to be working on. So think of it as a folder or a storage where you're going to be putting anything that you're going to be working on for that specific stuff. So for this, we're going to be working on a, a very simple kind of repository name. All you have to do would be just, you're going to be writing your name over there. So in my case, my name would be practical and the repository name is going to be there. So as we go further, there is a proper way of naming uh, repositories and whatnot, but for now, if your name is John, then you're going to run John over here. If your name is Jenny, then you're going to run uh, write Jenny over here. And then description is going to be my own repository. Uh, this one is optional as it says over here, but it's better to have it like this one. So we have two ways of the uh, repositories over here. We're going to leave it as public. But what private is, if you don't want to share it for everybody else to see, then in that case, you're going to make it a private. And this is mostly when you are working on, on a project that you don't want to share, or if it is going to be um, anything that's going to be, you know, just a business kind of related or uh, anything that you want to keep it for private. Um, and then you want to only invite people just to work on that one, then in that case, you're going to use the private. But for now, we're going to be proceeding with that to the public and you're going to do that one and that's it. So now you have created your very first, um, uh, your very first, repository. So the next task is just to work on this one on how you're going to be putting the the files that you have been working on and then just to make it just a part of uh, your repository. But for now, at least we have seen how, how you can create your very first repository and then that should be good enough. So on the next one, I'm going to show you how you can use this repository to uh, hold a data or I mean uh, the files that you're going to be working on uh, further.